Mind if I have a seat? All right, cool. So, community tabs unlocked. I put a poll out. I sketched who was in first place, which was the primeval from Diablo 3. Look at the size of this, right? And then you guys threw a curveball at me and took Diablo from first place and put him down in a second. So, the current first place holder is Lilith from Diablo 4. Nonetheless, I'm still super excited to get started on this piece, so let's roll our cutscene. Lilith. Blessed Mother. Save us. Not too shabby, right? So, um, depending on the success of this video, if you guys want to see more of the Diablo characters, maybe we can move on to bigger knows I'm just throwing it out there but let's go ahead and get started shall we all right everyone so as you could have predicted we start with the foundation you can't have a building without a foundation the same thing applies to sculptures so once you got your armature in a nice position you got it posed up how you want it you bulk it out with some aluminum now this sculpture is gonna have a lot of aluminum under the dress kind of area uh, simply because like it didn't make sense to sculpt legs if they were going to be completely covered by a dress. So I make sure to really reinforce the um, foundation there with a lot of aluminum foil. Alright, and once you've got the aluminum to a desired thickness level, you always want to make sure to keep in mind not to make the aluminum too thick because you're going to put a layer of clay over that and you don't want to make the piece too bulky looking. Unless that's what you're going for. But for this sculpture, she's a thinner woman. so. I don't want to make too much aluminum. Here I'm just sort of bulking everything out, making sure all the clay's on. Um, actually, I mean it's not on camera, but I messed up with the uh, bulkiness myself and I ended up having to take the clay off and taking some of the aluminum out so it would be thinner. Uh, this was definitely a sculpture where I took a step forward and I would take two steps back because I wanted to make sure everything was done absolutely perfect. Uh, I think this is a good time to kind of self-critique. Something that I wish I would have done better was um, her face. Now, I spent about three days worth of what could have been progress just trying to make sure the face was done right. Um, I ended up settling on one that I was pretty happy with. I think I could have done a little better, but, you know, it had been two months <laughs> since I put a video out, so I wasn't trying to take forever on the face of Lilith here, especially because that wasn't even the very last step. I still had to do all of her wings and everything, uh, but I digress. Aside from that, um, I wish I would have spent a little bit longer on the wings too which was pretty much the very last step that I did, and that's just because I wanted to hurry up and finish. Um, the wings do turn out pretty good, don't get me wrong, but they could have been better uh, if I had just taken that like extra step or two. But that's neither here nor there. I'm actually really, really, really pleased with how she turns out in the end. Um, here, I'm just sort of adding those extra layer of detail that no one's ever going to really see, but um, I know it's there. Uh, this was when I was like still not as much on a time crunch, so I was cramming in as much detail as I could. When I kind of realized how little time I had left, I sort of skipped a couple things, which was like this tail thing that she's got, but no one's ever going to see that. And she also has like a couple of extra back spikes, um, but I wasn't sure how to get those in without something breaking, so I decided to um, leave those out. So those are a couple of things that I missed out on that I wish I could have done, but you know, like I said, I wanted to hurry up and get the video out.
Another challenging aspect of this sculpture is the fact that the game is not released yet. It's supposed to come out next year in June, I believe. And, you know, there's a couple images of her in the trailer. There's a statue um, of her that Blizzard released, which was what I used for most of my reference pictures. But, you know, aside from that, there's not too much to go off of. So I was just kind of eyeballing it. So I was really, really happy with how all of her proportions turned out. At this point, I got really excited because, you know, her signature silhouette is those horns, um that she's got so I really wanted to make sure to do those right um, and I think I nailed it pretty well it was a little tough getting these ridges in without smushing everything but in the end it turned out really good now this was a pain <laughs> it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be uh, it was still a little tedious don't get me wrong but the wings turned out pretty good It was kind of tricky to figure out how I was going to do the final bake because at this point she's too tall to fit in my oven. Um, so what I ended up having to do was lay a wooden block down and lay her on her chest so that way I could fit her in the oven uh, like lengthwise, heightwise. Because um, she's not too wide to fit in but she was definitely too tall so I had to lay her down. Um, now I actually opted to do a variety of painting methods here and I quickly learned that my compressor for my airbrush is not strong enough to do a base coat so as you saw there I tried to do an initial layer which didn't work uh, so here I'm going in with the hand painting after I'm done hand painting I'm gonna dry brush the blended details and then I'm gonna take some crushed up pastels and push uh, a couple of shadows into some areas like I did with the Demona sculpture but that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, like I said, two months of work went into this sculpture, so I would really appreciate it if you would share this, um, especially if you're excited for the game or if you want to see more content like this from my channel, make sure to uh, share it and maybe drop a like. I really love when you guys comment because I like interacting with everyone, so if you would be inclined to drop a comment, that'd be cool too. So uh, I'm probably going to wrap up the voice over here. Enjoy the uh, rest of the process, guys. Alright everyone, thanks for checking out my sculpture process of Lilith here from Diablo 4. Um, I know it took me a really long time to finish up this sculpture, but it was between doing finals and working and all this stuff, you know, life stuff, um, that me trying to get every single minute detail in on this sculpture kind of took a while. So thank you guys for your patience. Um, I could not be happier with how she turned out. I'm super proud. This is probably my favorite sculpture that I've created thus far. So, um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do for the next video, as this one took a really long time. Imagine if I'd have done the Diablo um, 3 Primeval. Let that sink in. Yeah, um, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do for the next video, but um, I'm excited for it. So I'll get that out to you guys as soon as I'm done with it. Merry Christmas, so actually, uh, this video will probably be after. Uh, Merry belated Christmas, and um, I hope you guys had a great time. So, peace.